friends, welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be talking about my February TBR. So for the month of February, I will be working on finishing up my winter TBR, but also I decided I wanted to take part in two readathons. And this isn't like last year where I went crazy and didn't have any like self-control when it came to readathons. I like looked at the prompts and made sure that they were readathons that I could do and I'm really excited to do them. The first one is the Valentine's readathon which I did last year so I definitely wanted to do it again this year. And then the second readathon I wanted to take part in was Blackathon. I wasn't able to take part in Blackathon last year but this year I like saw the prompts and the things they were doing and I was really excited so I decided that I really did want to take part in that. So I'll be sharing the books I will be reading for both of those readathons. Most of them are the books I probably will be focusing on the most in February so excitement. I'm going to just start and tell you what I'll be reading for about lit times and then I'll share what I'll be reading for the Blackathon. So for Valentine's, and I'm reading off of my little notebook down here, that's why I'm gonna be looking down, so sorry in advance. There's a bingo board, which I'll put up here somewhere, that we will be following, and they have all the prompts and stuff, and so I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I don't want this video to be too long, but I'll just share some of the books that I was thinking about reading. So, the first prompt is Old Love, which is, I think, to read an old favorite. And so for that one, I have two options that I'm going to choose from. I decided that I was going to do um, Vampire Kisses 3, uh, Vampireville, just because this is on my winter TBR, and so I would like to finish this before the month ends. And then the second option I have is the Den of Shadows Quartet by Amelia Atwater Rhodes. So this is an old, old book. Um, I had a friend give this to me in middle school, and as you can see, like it's very torn up, very red. Like I loved this. Oh wow, and the back is creased. Um, I loved this book so much when I read it, and I'm not a big anthology person. It depends for me. Like I'm very picky when it comes to them. But I really did enjoy this one and so I've been really, I've been having the urge to reread this just to see if I still love it as much as I did. I'm just, I, I'm kind of tempted to just lean towards this one because I just want to reread it, <laughs> basically. But who knows, I probably won't choose until the last minute, like always, so we'll see. But if you have not heard of this, you should check it out. I think there's an, even a companion uh, anthology where I don't know if it follows the same characters, but it's like by the same author almost. Um, I never picked that one up because I think I just loved this so much. I didn't want to like pick up the other one and kind of ruin my image of this one maybe if I didn't like that one as much, but it's just so good and I loved it. The next prompt I have is Black History Month, and I believe that was just to read a book by a black author. And the one I chose for that one is Who Put the Song On by Morgan Parker. I've been wanting to read this for a while. Um, it came out in 2019, and I bought it right away because I felt like it was calling to me. So this will also be fitting the prompt of You See Me, which is basically, um, I believe it's like a book that you see yourself in. And from the synopsis, I believe this is a book I'm going to relate to a lot. So I'm excited to finally get to read this. All right, the next prompt I have is That's My Type. I believe it's just to read a book that is like your type of genre or whatever so for that one i chose american panda honestly american panda is gonna fit most of these props on this list because i was also trying not to overwhelm myself with books this month this will also be what i'll be budding reading with uh with my partner with my buddy read partner my whatever i can't remember the name that they call them <laughs> but we chose to do this one as well this will also fit the prompts of first date which is read an author's debut or like first book and token of affection which I can't remember what that prompt is but it fit it so yeah all right the next prompt I have is skinny love which is to read a book I believe under 200 pages 
And for that one, I chose Haikyuu Volume 1. I've been obsessed with this anime for the last half of 2019 and the beginning of this year. I've been in the middle of rewatching it so I can start the new season that just came out. And I got a deal where I bought the first six volumes for $30, so... <laughs> I'm obsessed. Anyways, and I decided this would be a good fit. Um, this will also fit the prompt of the newlyweds, which I can't remember what that is. I think it was like the newest book you bought, and this is one. This is it. And Picture Perfect, which was to, I believe, to read a graphic novel or manga or something with pictures in it, basically. The next prompt is Love Triangle, which is to read the next book in a trilogy. And so I chose P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. The movie comes out this month, and I really need to read this before I see the movie. So I'm definitely kind of gunned to read this and finish it in time. This will also uh, fit the prompt of Commitment Issues, which is basically to start slash continue a series. And I'm just gonna throw this in there. <laughs> all right, so those are all the books I have for my TBR for this readathon. Um, I didn't choose a lot because, again, I didn't wanna overwhelm myself because I still wanna leave options to read other books too. So yeah, and I left some of the prompts open because like, just in case I decide that I wanna grab something else that fits one of those prompts, I was like, I'll just leave it open-ended so that way I'm not, boxing myself in and I don't get overwhelmed or stressed or anything. So the next uh, readathon I'm going to tell you about is Blackathon. And that one they split it up into teams this year, two teams. So you had team like sci-fi fantasy and then team contemporary. I chose the team contemporary because most of the books that I had fit those prompts. So the first Prompt is Basi Ikbi, and that is a work exploring the intersection of mental health and or disability in black folks. So for that one, I chose Color Me In by Natasha Diaz. I remember watching Jesse's video on their review of this, and they said that the main character's mother struggles with a mental disability, so I figured this would definitely fit the prompt. and. I feel like there's probably more examples in here as well, so I'm excited to finally check this out because I've been wanting to read it since last year. Alright, the next prompt is Marlon James, which is a work that isn't set in the United States and does not center the black American narrative. And so for that one, I chose Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi. This is the second uh, book to Children of Blood and Bone. I've been really wanting to read this and now I'm glad to be able to uh, add this to a TBR. So this takes place in, I believe, Africa or like a African-centric world. And it definitely does not focus on the black American narrative. So super excited. The next prompt is Alexa Martin, a lighthearted work that doesn't center on the struggle, aka racism, poverty, drug use, and features powerful romantic or platonic bonds. So for that one, I chose... The next prompt is Alexa Martin, a lighthearted work that doesn't center on the struggle, aka racism, poverty, drug use, and featured powerful romantic or platonic bonds. So for that one, I chose Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. This one focuses on a girl who is HIV positive and she kind of has to deal with the repercussions of that. So like, um, she meets a guy that she's interested in and so she's trying to figure out if she should tell him, when she should tell him, when's the right time, like, kind of thing. So I figured this would be a good prompt for that because it doesn't focus on, like, a normal struggle. So it doesn't focus, I don't think it focuses on, like, poverty or anything like that. And it does focus on a romantic bond, I believe. So I'm very, very intrigued to see how this story goes. And last prompt is a Quake Amenzi, and that is a work where a black protagonist challenges preconceived notions of blackness and what black means, a black revolutionary character. So for that one, I chose to read Who Put This Song On by Morgan Parker. This, I feel like, will definitely challenge some preconceived notions of blackness uh just because the character from the description the character seems like she's been put in a box her whole life where it's been like oh you don't really seem like a black person kind of thing which definitely relate to right here so i'm excited to see how that 
plays a role in this story. Those are all the books I'll be reading for both of those uh, readathons. And then the last book I have to share is a buddy read I'll be doing with Chanel from Chanel Time, who is one of my favorites. I love her so much. She's so fun and energetic, and you should definitely check out her channel if you haven't already. We, like, I texted her, and I was just like, I really want a buddy read with you. And so she just jumped right in. She was like, well, I don't have any plans. And I was like, okay. So we decided that we were going to read the Way You Make Me Feel by Maureen Gu. So I'm super excited to buddy read something with her. Hopefully we both enjoy this. Because <laughs> otherwise that'll be awkward. And yeah, so excited. That is my February TB all, TBR for you all. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any comments on any of the books I mentioned, please comment them down below. Whether you like them, whether you think I'll like them. Like, I love to just get your opinions and know things. If you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an image down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.